Hello everyone and welcome to our Beat Dive video series. I am Shelly Myers with Practice Better and today we're going to be talking all about note templates and special notes. So we're going to get into how to create note templates, how to use existing note templates that we have available to you, and why they really help save you so much time and keep your notes a lot more organized and streamlined by using those templates over and over. So today we are going to dive into part one. So let's go down here and look at, this is what we're gonna review in this part one video, the benefits of using templates, locating note templates in your Practice Better platform, adding sections to your template, using the text editor toolbar, saving your note templates, and then sharing note templates with colleagues. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull up the Practice Better demo. I'm actually going to turn off my camera so I'm not blocking what you're seeing in the demo. So let's dive in and talk about why create and use templates. So templates really eliminate the repetitive work and save you time by templating your notes. So you can create customizable frameworks to save you from needlessly repeating tasks over and over. Where do you find the note templates in Practice Better? We're gonna come over here and click on My Practice. And we're gonna come down here to Note Templates. So from here, you can either, if you click this red button, from here you can either just create a template from scratch or you can create from a template. So we have some templates available in Practice Better. If you wanna check these out, you can just click on the note template that you want and you can add it to your account and then you can easily modify that. Or if you decide not to use it, you could delete that from your list of templates. Now, if a colleague has given you a code, if, if somebody is sharing a note template with you, you can simply get the code and then click here and enter that access code here. And then you're gonna hit submit and that will add that to your list of note templates in Practice Better. So let's go ahead and look at a template that I already have in my list. So I'm gonna come over here and hit edit. We're gonna take a look first at this initial consultation session note. So I'm gonna hit edit here. And you'll notice over here that we have a one or two forms in Practice Better. You have different elements that you can add to your template. So anytime you click on one of these elements, it's going to add that to the bottom of your template. But you can always move these sections around by clicking these arrows here. Well, I'm just going to scroll down here so you can see. Again, this is an initial consultation note template. You can modify this, add to it, but at least you have a template to start with. So you'll notice a lot of these sections are this element here, the text section, but I did want you to see, I did add like a sample table. So you can see very similar to if you've built any forms in Practice Better. So you can have checkbox, numeric fields, or text fields, and you can add as many rows and columns as you would like. So that's what um, a sample table would look like. Then I added a yes, no question here. But again, this is for you as the practitioner. You are going to be filling this out, but if you would like to share any part of your note template or your note with your client, you have that option. And that's where over here, this little icon, if you click on that, it's going to default to sharing it with the client. But I'll show you that in our next video on how you can turn that on or off once you create a note for a client. So down here, this is an example of the, um, the scale. And then this one here is the checkboxes. So you can see that you can make your note templates very robust. And at the bottom, I added in what's called a Placeholder. So these are all the fields in your client's file if you really want to personalize. So when I create this for a client, it's going to pull in their first name, their preferred name, 
And then I was gonna say, thank you for taking the time for our session today. You could add your logo here with a, um, an image. You can add a link to your website. So you can really personalize this. So let's take a look at, I just wanna show you the various components of the editor toolbar. So all these elements right here and really customize what's in this box. So again, if you wanted to create a full screen, so if you just want some more room to work, you still have all of the text editor elements up here at the top. And over here are the, the various placeholders. So this is pulling data in from your client file. So again, when you create this for the client, it's just gonna save you a lot of time because it's gonna pull whatever information um, is in the client's file into the place where you put the placeholder here. So these are all examples of placeholders. And then here you can bold, you can do all of these things. You can change the colors. Uh, you can also change the font size, the heading size. So similar to if you're working in a Word document or a Google document, and then you can add links. So if you want to add a hyperlink, behind some text or behind an image, you could do that. And then you could also add images, video. So if you wanna embed a video from YouTube or Vimeo, you can also insert tables. I'm gonna show you a, an example of that in a moment, but if you wanted to, instead of using this table over here, you can create a table within the text box itself. We're also going to go over in a little bit, we're gonna uh, talk about snippets and how you can use snippets within notes and how those can save you a lot of time um, if you have blocks of text that you're typing over and over again. And then here, let's take a look at one of these longer. So if you click on this toggle editor, then it'll just allow you to scroll through here. So if you have a really long template, and you don't want to be scrolling all the way down here, you can just make these boxes smaller. So you can enlarge them or make them smaller, and then you would just use this to scroll through that section. And then if you do want to move up or down any of these sections, just to reorder the sections, you can click on those little arrows. And then if you decide that you would like to delete a section, then you can just click on this little trash bin. So that is an example of one template. I'm going to save and exit. I just want to show you a couple other ones. So we also have our soap notes, if that's something that you use with your clients in a session. So we have the subjective right here. I'm actually going to toggle this. And again, you can see these placeholders. So if there are any supplements, medications, allergies that are already in the client file, when you create this note for the client, it's gonna pull that information in here so that you don't have to do that. So we have our objective section, our assessment, and then the plan. And you'll notice that for me, when I finish these notes, I do, generally, I do wanna share the plan with the client so that they can see what that plan is. Sometimes that will also come with a protocol that I create, practice better but I don't typically share the whole note with them. So that's why I have these broken out into sections. And then I do have this defaulted to share. However, once you create this for the client, there is one other step that you'll take to make sure that section is shared. And then if you change your mind, you could always um, unshare it in that specific note. So let's go back out here and then I'll show you this one, my lab chart. This is just an example of a table that's built within a text, within the text box. So here, this will pull in the client's name and I am gonna be sharing this with the client. And then this is just a nice way because you can keep coming in here over and over when your client is updating their various labs and then you can add the values in here and just be able to look at that information over time. So that's just another way to use the table within a note template. So that is my lab chart. So we're going to go out here 
Now let's go back out and I just wanted to show you. So that's just some examples of the different templates. And then if you do have a lot of templates, you can always click here to change the order if you wanted to move anything around to, to put the ones that you most often on the top. Lastly, I did want to show you if you have a template that you created and you wanted to share that with your colleagues, you can click over here on the three dot and you can say manage sharing. And then we can come over here to share access code. Now, initially you are going to want to click this to turn that on. And then what you can do is just highlight all of this and copy it and give it to your colleague. And that way they're going to have, if they're not sure how to import that note template into their account, they will have a link to a help article. If it's somebody that if they already know how to import these, you can just give them this code right here. So this is the code that they're going to highlight and then copy, which I'm going to do right now. And then what they're going to do is come in and click on the red button. They create from a template. And then they're going to paste that code in here and click submit. And then you do want to click here to add that to your account. I'm not going to add that since I already have the silk note. All right. So that is part one. Just to recap what we went over, we talked about the benefits of using templates, how to locate your note templates in the Practice Better platform, adding sections to your template using the text editor toolbar, saving your note template, and then sharing note templates with colleagues. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with part two.